Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a lazy girl glam. You're gonna fall under three categories if you're watching this video. You're either lazy, don't feel like going through the steps, but have to look glam, on a budget, don't have many products, but wanna look glam, or you don't have time, you need to get out of the house, but you need to look glam. So if you fall under one of those categories, this video is gonna be a lifesaver. I got you. I'm gonna give you so many tips on how to cut your time in half, and I'm honestly using only one product for my eyes and my face, basically, in this entire video. There's a few other ones, but trust me, this one product is gonna do everything you probably wouldn't think it would do. And I'm also using a really cool lip powder, which I've never seen before, and I'm so excited to use it. It actually turns into this. It really intrigued me, and I'm like super excited to show you guys this lip product. Special thanks to Buxom for partnering up with me in this video on their Pillow Pout Lip Powder. Before we get into this video and how to get this lazy glam look, don't forget to to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family. And without further ado, let's get in to this lazy girl glam. I primed my face, but let me just let you know what I used because I feel like I'm holding something back from you guys if I don't show you every little thing. So this is the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist and I use this to prime my face. I put on some moisturizer from Ulla Henriksen and then I put this guy on, I just misted. Bam, primed. That's basically what I did. Everything that I'm gonna be doing today is supposed to be quick and just cut your time in half because you don't feel like it, because you're lazy, but you still wanna be glam. So I totally get you. I am on your level with that. We are basically the same person <laughs> if you're watching this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. So I'm gonna use the dark brown ferocious brow pencil from The Balm. I guess using a pencil is kind of a lazy approach because it's easy, I guess. I mean, you have to fill in your brows, right? I almost feel like this is a fail. I'm gonna try to make it work. Maybe if we just need to build it up a little bit more. But it is like kind of waxy. Just to lock it in, I'd go over with like a powder. That's a lot of work for a lazy brow. If you guys have a lazy brow hack, please put it in the comments because this brow pencil just ruined my lazy brow hack. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be easy and fast, and honestly, I had to build it up a little bit. We're gonna exclude that from the lazy glam. Okay, we're gonna act like that didn't happen, but you guys can give me some tips. Now we're gonna move on to the face. Like if I wanted to do a real glam, I would normally start with my eyes. I'd conceal, do shadow, eyeliner, mascara, lashes, all that stuff, and then I'd go into my foundation. But for this one, I am gonna start off with my face because everything else on the eyes is gonna be very minimal, very simple and easy. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is for normal to oily skin, and this is in the shade Pure Beige. Lazy girl hack, put foundation all over your face first. And the reason why you do your eyes first, usually so the fallout can land on your face and you can clean it away. I don't know if foundation is a hack, but definitely just getting it on there and getting your face to be one even complexion is super easy and quick and you're instantly like, bam, ready to go. Now that my complexion is pretty much easy, even. I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use the KKW shade 5 to conceal the under eyes right in there. I'm gonna put some on my nose and a little bit right in here. I just made a happy face. <laughs> I'm keeping the concealer really close to my eyes because if I bring it all the way out, I'm gonna have to really blend that out. It's gonna take a lot of time and I'm gonna have to like really focus on not getting it into any other part of my face. So that's just gonna take a lot of work. After I've basically done my entire face, I'm gonna set it. And this is usually my last step, which is crazy, but I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and really set my under eyes and go right over the eyelids. And then when you turn over your beauty sponge, just work all of that powder in, take a little bit more and just set your entire face. So you don't need to grab an extra powder or anything else. It makes everything look really even smooth and almost like a porcelain doll type of skin. Laura Mercier one is one of my favorites. So I definitely recommend that one. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the eyes, which are super simple and easy. So I'm gonna take this bronzer right here from The Balm. I'm gonna use this basically all over my eyes and my face. And it's gonna be like a one and done kind of thing. So I'm gonna take this darker shade right here. This is one of the Urban Decay brushes, the E209. And I'm just gonna go right into the crease to add some definition right there. This is all that you need. 
So I'm taking it in the crease and kind of bringing it on top of the lid a little bit and blending it out on the edges. And it's not gonna overpower the lip that we're gonna do in a little bit because I really want the main focus to be the lip and the lashes. So basically what we're doing is contouring our eye and you can keep going in as many times as you want. You're just putting some bronzer on your crease and a little bit on your lid. And same thing with the lower lash line, I'm just gonna go and smudge my brush down there. I can't do no eyeshadow at all on the lower lash line because I feel naked. I feel like something's missing. I don't know. I don't know how I used to do it for so many years. I wouldn't put anything on my lower lash line, just mascara and eyeliner. Now I'm just gonna go in, and if you want, you can take the same bronzer and then go in with a little brush and just kind of smudge the bronzer along the lash line like this. If you want, you don't have to. This is your lazy glam. Just by using different brushes, you can get so many different looks out of one eyeshadow. Because it's tightly packed, you're gonna get more color payoff. I'm gonna go into the lashes. I'm gonna use the Lily Lashes in the Style Goddess. Those are my absolute favorite style. I'm gonna go in with my lash glue. I let my lashes dry for like 30 seconds. So lashes should be done by now. I go to the first one and I just wiggle it around so it's not super straight. And then we're just gonna pop them on. I'm gonna take a little bit of a tighter brush. I'm gonna take this pencil brush right here and go back, go into that shade and bring in a little bit more drama on the crease. Now that I have like the dimension that I want for my eyes, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is from Butter London. This has been my current Favorite. I've been talking about it so much in my videos and different videos that I've been using it in. I'm gonna take that and mesh my real and false lashes together. You wanna make sure that your lashes are super dry because then they can pull off a little bit and you don't realize till the end of the video. Your eyes are completely done at this point. I know it's a little like, that's it. So for the face, we're gonna take the same bronzer and we're going to work that on our cheekbones. If your forehead is just a little bit smaller, you don't need to do this step. It'll make it look even more small, but you can just dust a little bit here. But because this is a darker bronze, you can use it in different ways because of the color. So I'm gonna take this bigger fluffier brush just to give myself some color, some depth, and I'm putting a little bit on my nose, just a little bit, just to look like we got a little bit of a suntan. I'm gonna use the same bronzer to contour my nose. So I'm just gonna go down the nose. I'm telling you, the brush that you use changes everything. I always go back over with a beauty blender with whatever is left over on that, just to soften it up because it can look a little harsh if you just leave it. So I do that and then I'm gonna go back over my cheekbones just so I can cut them and make my face look a little bit slimmer. So basically we just contoured our face into a Glamazon with one product. That is crazy. I should do more videos like this, like challenges or something. And then for the cheeks, I'm gonna take some of the Farsali Jelly Beam with my finger, just a little bit of it, and just dot it where I need it. I think highlight is an instant glam kind of a thing, so it's like super important to have a highlight when you're trying to look glam. So I'm gonna put it on my cupid's bow. And then we'll do right on the cheekbone. To really take your look up to the glam level, we're gonna add a bold lip. This is like a bolder pink kind of color. It's called Spoil Me from Buxom. And I'm really excited to use this because I've never used anything like it. I've, I haven't really heard of anything like it. It's called Pillow Pout Creamy Plumping Lip Powder. When I heard lip powder, I got really interested and I just wanted to like try it out. It's really cool because the cap has all the product in it and it's like a wet kind of a powder. The applicator is like a spongy tip. It almost looks like an eyeshadow. It's a true powder on the sponge. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lips. It's supposed to be a plumping lip powder. Here we go. I'm gonna put it on. It feels weird. Oh my God, this feels like, it feels like a powder, like it's dry, but then it glides on. Oh my gosh, it's super pigmented. And it definitely covers a lot of lip with just one swipe, which is awesome. Feels good, looks good. I really like it. Bam, we are glam. 
guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up to let me know you liked it or loved it or hated it. I am also going to leave you guys with a tip. If you are feeling, if you're out there and you're watching my video and you, you're feeling down, you're not feeling yourself or you're just in, you've been in a weird mood lately and you're just not the happiest. And I can relate to this feeling like nothing is working right in your life and you feel like you just want to give up. Just know it's how you come out of this situation makes you that person. So push through and know that you can only go up and learn from these situations that are happening in your life. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.